Okay, I'm really excited about our next speaker. I've been waiting to hear her speak since we booked her, I don't even know when, November, December. And um, I'm really honored to introduce her. Her name is Kendra Bracken Ferguson. She's partners with Halle Berry of an organization called Respin. She's the founder of Brain Trust LA, the Beauty United and Global Beauty Tribe. And so much more, I can't actually list all of that because it's really impressive. Um, but please give uh, Kendra a warm welcome. Hi, how are you? I'm good, how are you doing? Good, I'm so excited for this. I'm so excited for this. <laughs> okay, good, well, over to you and uh, I might pop on if needed, but um, we're all really excited to hear what you have to say about building your brand. Thank you, Megan. I know if I like call for you because I can't get this to work, then I know that you're there to help me. But I'm super excited. Um, so I'm going to jump right in and then I have some great slides that I'll share with you all. Um, but as Megan mentioned, my name is Kendra Bracken Ferguson. I, I truly have been looking forward to this. Um, it's been such an amazing journey that I've been on when we talk about personal branding. And for me, um, my story really started when um, in the early 2000s. And I was someone who, when I was in seventh grade, I knew I wanted to be a publicist and I knew I wanted to work in PR. And I'll never forget, I was watching the president give his speech and someone came up and handed him a piece of paper. And I said, who is that? Who is that? And they were like, that's the press secretary. And I said, that's what I want to do. And so fast forward, um, I went to college for that. My first job was at Fleischmann Hillard, one of the largest PR agencies in the world. And the key to this as we get into personal branding is that as a publicist, I was taught that we stayed in the background. So it was all about the people or the brands that we were doing um, PR for. So it was all about generating awareness for them. And we were standing over here and they were standing in the front. And so that really you know, shaped so much of my career. And then from there, I was recruited to go to Ralph Lauren. Um, I was the first director of digital media. And the interesting thing is that while I was at Fleischmann, I, while I was doing PR, I helped build the digital practice group and the influencer practice group. And so I was one of the first ones, you know, working in my space in Black Planet and Mahinte, but really being at the cusp of social media before Facebook was opened and we had Pinterest. So when I went to Ralph Lauren, it was such an interesting time because I, I was there helping them to build the Ralph Lauren brand across social media. So doing branding before a company and really across these new platforms. And so that also shaped kind of how I looked at personal branding, because when you work at Ralph Lauren, you're in the world of Ralph Lauren. You're wearing Ralph Lauren, you're going to work at the mansion, and it's really, again, still not about you. And fast forward from there, I met my first business partner, Karen Rabinovitz, and we started a company called Digital Brand Architects. And that's where my whole world and being around personal branding really changed. And that company was the first agency to really manage bloggers as talent. We launched in 2009, which is funny to think, you know, what's happened since then. Um, but at that point, I really was faced with personal branding as a person and as the people that we managed head on. And so we started managing bloggers who were posting photos of themselves. And that was what you did. I mean, you still do that now, but our big advice to them was, who are you, right? So you can create a beautiful photo and you can post it, but what are you passionate about? What's gonna be your long-term game plan when you don't wanna post photos of yourself anymore? And that really led us to do these branding assessments where we talked about who are you? What are you passionate about? What do you care about? Are you a good chef? Are you a good baker? And that really formed so much of how I started to approach personal branding. And it was fascinating for me to see the photos that people would post as their persona, but then to really get to know that person and being able to really merge the two into what a personal brand is, separate from how we show up at work, but still aligned, and really creating this sense of branding. Um, and as Megan mentioned, you know, fast forward from there, after DBA, I started a company called Brain Trust. 
And we were really focused on brands management, helping brands to build their personal profiles and also working with people. Um, Halle Berry, as she mentioned, was my first um, client at Brain Trust. And we've been together for what's actually going to be um, close to seven years. And this past year, we launched her brand um, that we developed together called Respin. And so through my career, I've had this you know, mentality of building brands for others as a publicist, building brands on social media for a company, and then looking at building brands for bloggers now influencers. And then also celebrity. So it's it's a really um, exciting time whenever you think about the world of branding. Um, and I know we have limited time. I just really wanted to give you all a setup to kind of understand where I was coming from and how I approach the space. And so I'm gonna jump in. Let me see if I can if I can get my slides going. I think Megan, I'm trying to hit the monitor but it's not letting me click open, or it's not letting me click to allow sharing. Okay, well, here we go. Okay, <laughs> you're like, I'm back. I'm like, you're um, the wingman. I couldn't even- I know. I, I can try it for some reason. Every time I click on the monitor, it's not, it, the line is still there. No worries, I'm gonna put you on right now. First, it's gonna show yeah. us. And uh, give me one moment. And I'll keep talking while while they do that. So as they're helping me get the slides up, thank you so much, ladies. Appreciate you guys. Yes. Perfect. I'm gonna turn my camera off, so it's just you. Okay. Perfect. And do you mind just putting it um, full screen or is that as full as I can get? I will take whatever you can give me. There we go. Okay, so um, I hope that you all can see this. So as we dive in here, um, I wanted to start with this slide. So as you can see, that is our new Madame Vice President, um, Ms. Kamala Harris. And one of the things that I love about this slide, and I found this, was just how this is kind of the epitome of personal branding, of what we are trying to create when we think about who are we. And so when you look at this, the thing that you know strikes us is Libra. So Miss Kamala is a Libra, I'm a Taurus. So I, for those of you that are into astrology, I really base, um, I, I really put a lot of stock in that, but I think that it's interesting that this was kind of the first thing that you see. And then you see never gives up, slays debates, um, something personal, great hair, um, knows more than you think, dressed to impress and here for justice. And I think that for all of us, we have to be able to call out these words that we feel connected to that really describe who we are. But I thought that this was a great lens for all of us after this to kind of put our picture up and then to start to fill out our word cloud. But I thought that it was important to kind of start there to ground us. And on the next slide, we kind of go into this statement that I feel like um, it was really important to me and something that I connected with. But it says that success is often built on strong personal branding. It immediately tells us who a person is and where their expertise lies. Personal branding isn't limited to those in the public sphere. Regardless of who you are, you can showcase your talents. So I love this because I think that oftentimes we get caught up in, you know, should I have a personal brand? Am I public? What are my talents? And so often we think that it's limited to who you are at work, or we think that it's limited if I'm shy or if I feel like I'm an introvert and not an extrovert, I can't have a personal brand. But success in everything that we do is really driven by that personal brand and being able to connect to that and understand what it is. And next, I'm trying to see girls, there we go. Next, I want to kind of talk about the time is now. Um, and I, I meet with so many people and I talk to so many people and they're like, it's not it's not the right time for me to build my personal brand. It's not the right time. And for those of us who are 
you know, entrepreneurs who are um, really in this place of I'm a consultant. We need people to see us so that we can drive our brands forward. Next slide, please. So here, this is an interesting kind of, I think, duality for those of us who have been in corporate. I like to say that I have the mindset of an entrepreneur and an entrepreneur because I have played both roles. Um, but this is something that I, I've found when talking to people that really it's a, it's a conversation between I work for this brand, right? And what's the separation between the company that I work for and my work life and my social life? And I think what we're finding now, and I think if COVID has taught us anything, um, it's not enough to be a nameless part of a larger corporate brand. And I wanted to share with you this story about my time at Ralph Lauren because I didn't know. I was so immersed in this world of which I worked that it, that became this whole thing that I cared about. And I lost sight of the fact that I needed my brand outside of that. And someone who worked at Ralph Lauren, I'll never forget, she said to me when I was preparing to leave to start my own company, and they really wanted me to stay. Um, she said, your last name isn't Lauren. And that really stuck with me. She said, your last name isn't Lauren. And she said, go out, do what you want to do. And if it doesn't work, you can always come back. But you need to follow your dream and you need to build the brand that you want. And so I think that it's really important for those of us who have been in corporate and who are still in corporate to really have that mindset. Next slide, please. So I think too, you know, we talk about corporate, we talk about entrepreneurs, we talk about entrepreneurs. Um, the other thing that I just want to touch on, and again, you know, I'm trying to set our psyche um, to build our mindset as we get into tips, but it's not just left for athletes or models or celebrities. It's really for all of us. And I think that was one of the things that I learned with DBA was that you could you could be this influencer, but you might also be a great chef. You might be a great photographer. You might be a great artist. Wherever you are in terms of your life, there's a personal brand that you can align with and that you can attach yourself to. And it can't just be left there, especially when you look at the rise of bloggers as influencers making seven figures, business people, you know, CEOs are now celebrities when you look at how things have changed. Next slide, please. So let's get into this, this part. Um, I'm not sure if you can see it. I know it's a lot of words. I'm gonna give you high level and then I know that they'll share this at the end. But if you have a piece of paper, um, you know, grab your child's crayons. I'm sure you can hear mine in the background. <laughs> um, but I wanna go through three simple questions. So the first thing that we're going to do is look at the who. But at this point, I want us to look at the who through the lens of what Google tells us or whatever Safari, whatever browser you're using. So take a second, put your name in Google. And I like to start here. I'm sure some of you do this all the time. But for those of you that haven't or haven't done it in a while, um, it's always refreshing. Like when I Google myself and it's like Kendra Bracken Ferguson husband and I'm like, why are you searching for him? Um, but it's important to do. So, you know, take a second either now or afterwards, Google yourself and write down what some of the results are. And I'm going to start with the who in terms of what people see of you, think of you or believe you to be through that search. We're going to start there. And then the next thing is the why. So when we think about personal branding, we also have to figure out like, what is our why, right? Like, why are we here? Why are people listening to us? Why do people actually care? And that's something that you have to really start to think through, right? Because there has to be value add. And then think about the what, right? What am I passionate about? What does my brand mean? What do I stand for? And even more importantly, what are the unique experiences or passions that I bring to the table? Because we all have something that makes us unique. And I'm going to go faster because I'm running out of time because I know I'm chatty Cathy. Um, next slide, please. So next, um, I just want to show, I think I have time to show a quick video, but I'm not sure if it's loading properly. 
Um, so we'll skip it. I'll send it to you. You guys can see it afterwards. But the purpose of this slide really was to kind of get into some examples. So what I love about um, this clip is this is a woman, Bozina St. John. I'm sure many of you have heard of her, have met her. Um, I love her in this example because for me, she has really defined so she's been the CMO at Uber. She was um, at Apple. She led the Apple Developer Conference. She was the CMO at Endeavor. She's currently the CMO at Netflix. AdAge named her one of the you know, most CMOs to watch. But when you start to talk about her personal brand, it is so tied to this badass Bose mentology. She has a badass Bose workshop. But as you can see, she's really branded herself in that way. So it's a fine balance between the corporate as well as the personal, but it all really connects. So in your own time, I then, before you kind of move on, I want you to write down the words that you think about when you think of yourself. So Bose, you know, in interviews, when you talk to her, she says she's badass. So it really is like, what are the words that describe you? And then I want you to match that up with what is coming up in Google. Does it connect? Does it sync up? Is it different? And that will also help you kind of see what your journey is going to be. Next slide. I promise I'm rolling. Um, the next example is really just kind of looking at, you know, now that we've talked about like who we are, why and the what, you know, we still have to figure out what is the brand of you? And I love this example of, of Tamari. So Tamari is the senior director of product development at Verse, a skincare company, but she also loves astrology and she's astro fashionista where she uses astrology. She gives tips and tools. And so I thought this was a great example. So when you go to her personal Tamari or her professional Tamari page, you see words like leadership. You see her in that mindset, which matches the first picture where she's sharing one of her products. But then when you go to Astro Fashionista, you have the same person, but you have a completely different brand, but still connected. And you can see the colors are different. You can see there's a picture of her in astrology. And she's done a great job of really blending the two from being in corporate and then having her own brands that she's actually monetizing through her work in astrology. Next slide. And then the last piece or the, the next piece I want to really talk through um, is really the fact that your personal brand is primarily digital. Um, if you're like me, I'm working hard to be on digital, even though, you know, it was the basis of my career and I guide people on it every day. Sometimes the hardest thing to do is for ourselves <laughs> versus others. Um, but social is so important. You have to build it. Think about it every single day. Um, two great examples you can go back and look at. Karen, she is a senior editor at Forbes. She has a podcast. You know, she is just the epitome in terms of figuring out her personal brand, parlaying it into her podcast. Ty Beauchamp, similar yet different example. She has built an amazing personal brand as an actress, you know, um, as an influencer. But now she's the co-founder of Brown Girl Jane. And so it comes out through her profile, but then she has another company. But all of what they, they've done and how they built their brands is really through digital. They do a phenomenal job of using digital to really merge those worlds. Next slide. And I promise, Megan, <laughs> I'm going. Um, we're going to skip my video here so that we can keep talking. Um, but one of the things that I, I would like for everyone to kind of think through is like creating their about me video. Um, and on the slide, which you'll have afterwards, I kind of, I walk you through my about me video, who I am, because that is something that that has helped ground me. It's also something that you'll start to use across your social, across your website, that gives people a glimpse of who you are. And I think the greatest thing, it's so funny, I was talking to my executive coach about this, is really letting other people help you tell the story of who you are and creating multiple clips of your about me version so that you can see the evolution of yourself. So we didn't get to do that part, but I encourage you to take time to look at your Google, to look at your words, to look at really your what, your why, your who, to put that all together and to write a script. 
and then to film your video, send it to me. I'd love to see it. But that really does help you ground in terms of who your personal brand is. And the last thing, I do this exercise with myself a lot, um, with my team, with people that I coach and work with, but I wrote the narrative, I'm an innovative leader, a transformative brand builder, a founder and entrepreneur. I have built a business experience portfolio that expands operations, strategy, investment, board roles, and C-suite leadership. I believe in the mantra, carpe diem. So for me, when I started to look at what is my why, what is my what, why do people want to be in my orbit, why is my personal brand important, I was able to then piece together um, this statement. So um, I'm so happy that you all are here. Please definitely um, drop questions. I will DM you. Um, but I, I leave you with this. Now is the time for your own personal brand. Um, if COVID has taught us anything, that there's opportunities for us all to excel, that we can't be just comfortable in the place you know, that we were, and that innovation is really out there waiting for us. So I invite you to really figure out who you are, your why and your what, and don't waste any time building your personal brands and using social digital clubhouse, that's a whole other talk, um, to help you bring that to life. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you so much, Kendra. There was so much valuable information in there. Megan and I were just saying we have to watch the replay yes. because we were, talking about we were a little distracted here. Like, you are incredible. Thank you. Thank you so much for coming on and sharing with our community all those great tips about branding. Great. Thank you all. Great to be here. Thank have you. A great night. Have a great night.